acecoach.com presents Hi, I'm Wayne Elderton. Today we start a new series and I call it Sensational Tennis Feeling Your Way Through a Game-Based Approach. The premise of the series is to help us to speed up learning technique. In traditional coaching, Technique is taught through mimicking a series of stroke movements. Take the racket back, step, stroke, follow through, etc. Even if the content is more modern, semi-western grips, semi-open stances, etc., the process is the same, to basically mimic a stroke model. In a game-based approach, though, technique is developed situationally through a series of tactical challenges. In a game-based approach, the coach will guide the players to the most effective and efficient ways to technically solve the problems these situations present. Now, one of the best ways I've found to help players learn technique is to unlock the power of kinesthetic learning. To really know a shot, your body has to know its feeling. In this article, we're going to look at the basic feelings associated with all the stroke families the ground stroke family, the volley family, the serve family. And we're going to look at these, each of these families in the neutral phase, not attacking, not defending. And we're going to see the feelings associated for each of those. Now these are great technical tips that players and coaches can use to get better faster. Let's watch two young players developing the feelings that can be transferred to ground strokes. The goal is to send the ball by engaging their whole body from the ground up. Using a ball that bounces, you can even incorporate tactics as the players move each other around the court. It is important that when doing this drill, players keep their head over the center of gravity and feel their legs and body do more work than their arms. Here is a player developing a catching feeling for volleys. To get a feeling that can be transferred to volley technique, catch with one hand and do it on both sides. It is important to gain the feel of absorbing the ball with a slightly sideways body position. Gradually increase how much the player must move to set up the catch. By alternating back and forth from catching without the racket to the same feeling with the racket, the sensation for the volley is transferred. But as you can see, just standing and catching isn't enough, but the bodywork and the footwork and the catch are all packaged into one key feeling that the player can use while they're executing the stroke. When it comes to serving, the main feeling that we want to have is an overhead throwing action. And that's the feeling that we're looking at for serves. I remember as a young tennis coach many, many years ago, I would take people through the whole stroke model. Take the racket, down together, up together, scratch your back, reach up, follow through, always taking people through the steps. I remember one time being a little bit lazy and just saying to someone, okay, look, just Toss the ball up and throw the face of your racket at it. And I was totally amazed that all of a sudden they had all the pieces, even though I hadn't gone through all the steps. And basically all I had to do was shake them a little bit. I felt really ripped off that I had, wouldn't put someone through all those pieces. So that overhead throwing action is a really good way to go. And then once I go overhead throwing action, I need to translate that to an upward throw. So if I can throw upward, that's more like a serve. Again, we can shape the technique with legs and body and arms. 